Yo, what's up? And welcome to Beer Factory. They just dropped a little update, like literally just now. So we're finishing up that uh, update and we'll be in in just a moment. Good to see you all here. How y'all doing? Welcome aboard. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Uh, yeah, so uh, this game seems cool. I, I don't know much about it, but I certainly do like myself some simulator games, factory games, management games, and more. So let's go ahead and jump in. Welcome back. One's in the chat. Yeah, we're yet. Good to see you all here. Welcome, everybody, as we continue on with some shenanigans today in some brand new games. This one uh, coming out a few days ago. I think in early access. Oh, I can hear the music. Game, where are you? Hmm. See if we can get this one on screen. On screen! Wow! All right, cal calm down, game. Calm down. Alright, cool. Alright, everybody, welcome aboard to our first look at what must be an early access game known as Beer Factory. It's got a roadmap and stuff. Ooh! They're going to be adding security, beer cans, beer kegs, controller support, miscellaneous stuff. Security. It'll be possible to hire a security guard to hunt Francis. Oh, God. Is that like, what's the kid's name from uh, Gas Station Simulator? I, ca I can't remember that kid's name already. Dennis, right. We're going to have to play uh, Gas Station Simulator again, too. So on the, on the channel, we do like games like, for example, Gas Station Simulator. There's also a game called uh, Pump Simulator out um, and a few other things like that. So uh, I certainly do love myself some games like this that are w weird and, and wacky. Like um, there's the, uh, what is it, o Oben Sour and um, Real Estate Simulator and a lot of other weird games like Top Down um, business management games like Big Ambitions. So there's certainly a lot of games that we love to play here on the on the channel and the games that uh, allow you to own and operate your own factory or restaurant or gas station. Business stuff is cool, uh, but factory ones are a little bit more rare, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Gas Station Sim is awesome. They, they, apparently they have a big update coming out where they're going to add like an island and boats and more airplanes and things like that, so... Anyway, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. Thank you very much for following the channel, subscribing, becoming members, uh, or... Um, support in any way. If you've done that, thank you very much for all your support. And uh, let's jump into our first uh, big O look at Beer Factory. We'll see how it is. Uh, difficulty. A normal mode you play with the game experience the way it was designed. Francis is present. I don't know who that is. They should probably say who that is. But I only figured that out by reading the roadmap. Uh, in peaceful mode, you'll encounter Francis only once, who leaves behind a forklift upgrade part that unlocks the turbo however you won't encounter him anymore and you won't get random bonuses he leaves behind such as money and other forklift upgrade parts difficulty does not change the game's economy in any way you'll be able to change during the game oh cool i think we'll just play normal and we've also played a game on the channel where we had to own and operate our own bar too and another game called Bum Simulator. I would recommend all of you go to YouTube and check out Bum Simulator on the channel as well. It was uh, actually quite quite an interesting and funny game. It was it was meant to be a little bit more lighthearted over time. Also, another great one was the uh, the one where we own and operate our own arcade in the laundromat. Um, arcade Paradise was the name of that game. And that was a lot of fun too. You own your own laundromat, but in the back you have an arcade, and the goal is to slowly switch from being a laundromat owner to an arcade owner game's really fun with the budget we had we were able to buy this old factory before we start working on it seriously we will have to put the electricity back on clean the factory and do some renovations the previous owner left a machine in the condemned part of the factory maybe we could restore it while waiting for you to clean up the factory i'm going to look for some subsidies ah before i leave you i heard that the factory was squatted but it may be just a rumor. Dennis? Is that what you mean? Yo, Will, thanks for the five, dude. Appreciate the big O support. What's up, Vera? I'm good. I hope you're good, too. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay. Let's look around a little bit. Oh, I love, love the uh, industrial area. And the look of the game, too. 
Looks nice. Yeah, power lines clipping through the... No, actually, yeah. That's fine. Hmm. This also reminds me, chat, what was the name of that one game where we, like, owned a car and it was, like, a car from the 50s and we had that, like, garage that was parked on the street or whatever and uh, we had to open, like, our own internet cafe or something like that? It... I, I don't know. It was like a mix of a few games we played. Okay, let's open the barrier. Oh, we got a key. Nice. Open the factory's office door. Thank you very much, uh, Blairy Stone, for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to have to be in charge of cleaning this area up. All right, cool. We're going to clean up the factory area. Cool. That photo was not taken in 1971. Coffee machine? Make yourself a coffee which allows you to sprint. Let's go. Well, I guess for full immersion. You know, let's go ahead and... Uh... There we go. Alright, break's over. Take a look at the fuse box inside okay oh all oh, this is actually cool all right we, we got a lot of room to to maneuver all right hold on before we go any further i better check the options to make sure this isn't copyright music i don't trust it okay i don't i don't get i don't want to get fully clapped from youtube or twitch Okay, let's get started then. Find the fuse, got it. This is gonna be like my summer car, am I gonna die? Hey, I'm the real owner of this place. Get out of my house. Oh, are we in a boss battle right now? Francis has a Elden Ring style health bar. Holy shit. Chase the bum by throwing objects to him. Uh, all right. Wait, what? Whoa, da whoa, what the hell? This <laughs> Am I going to have to dodge roll? Oh, what the hell? He popped smoke. Bro, I wasn't expecting a boss battle on day one. Where'd he go? Oh, he's inside. What's he doing? Wow, this dude's like absolutely nimble. I get it. I gotta get him in like a narrow hallway. Oh, I got him. Hey, Bradford's laugh. <laughs> All right, he's out back again. We could probably expand the factory out here. I, I can't believe this is actually a boss battle. Oh, I got him. Okay, okay, I got it. I'm leaving. Now you're welcome to stay here. Why don't you work for me? I don't... Pimp my forklift. You've received a new tuning part: propane and propane accessories. Buh. Butane is a bastard. Yes. Can we be friends? We don't have to like fight. Open the factory gates. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that guy's name was Jack B. Nimble. Oh, I have to go do it from the inside. All right, it's my, my first day. Wait, can I pull the fire alarm in my own... Take the garbage and throw it in the bin. 
Okay. Oh, this is like gas station sim. Room upgrade available. You know what we got to play again, too, is House Flipper. Oh, we've unlocked wheels. Okay, so we unlock stuff from digging through the trash. Okay. Buy a broom at the tool shop. Trucker hat, brother, yeah. Buy a broom at the tool shop. Is that online? No, it's literally like over there. Shouldn't I just buy it online? Wait, how do I get over there? Wait. It's marked over there. Do I have to go through the back building here? I, I can't jump or anything, so I don't... An invisible wall. I can't go over there. I'm gonna check the computer. Maybe I can buy one online. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I don't know why it's indicating to go over there when I could just buy it on the computer. All right, broom, tool price twenty, tool desk, and a forklift. We got items for delivery contracts, investors, forklifts, employees, brewery customization, and global market. Machinery room, brewery, bottling, docks, rain crusher, upgraded storage. Oh, this is going to be fun. We actually might play this quite often if it's if it's going down this route. Uh, grab your broom that's inside the factory. That is fine. Uh, buy the tool desk. Okay. Yeah. So I can make tools there? Equip yourself with a new toolbox. Oh, nice. Open the build menu. And build what? Build the buy a storage. Um, I guess I'll put it over here because I don't really know what I need to store yet. Oh, cool. We got to assemble it all. Oh, you got to do all that yourself? Oh, that's actually cool. Can I change my view? Yep. Oh, I got to do all of them? Oh, this is going to be a day. Oh, you only got to do two? I don't want to move object. How do I build? Um, I'm going to clean up stuff. This is... I, I want all this junk out of the way. Can I clean that up? All right, let's do some cleaning. Squeaky clean, yeah. I'm going to need a mop for that or something. Kind of cool how we raise our reputation by cleaning up. 
all, like an absolute requirement for every one of these games is that you have to clean, like whatever you get, uh, you always have to clean it. You can't inherit a fully functioning gas station or something like that. It has to be like, oh, your uh, uncle. Yeah, your uncle, uh, he owned this gas station, but like, you go there and the building's literally on fire and like collapsing. And it's like, how did this happen? Oh, maybe I can put these in there. Does he use the toolbox and screw in all the bolts? I only I only screwed in uh, two of the like the anchors for it. Hmm. Hitboxes are tiny. Oh, are they? I can't. Oh, you gotta like aim below it. Oh, that's okay. That could be adjusted a little bit. So wouldn't you need like an impact hammer to bolt something into concrete? There we go. Find the first support for your storage. Well, that would be right here. How do I snap that in? Okay, cool. We just left click. Easy. Yeah, you'd have to assume the holes were already there then, yeah. Like, just magically, wherever we were going to place it was also conveniently the place where, the, where they were already pre-drilled. Pre Alright, find a plate for your storage. You mean this? Unless there is something else out here. I want this place looking nice. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, this factory setup is really nice. Like, this is a really cool building and stuff like that. And honestly, I wish, like, in games like Farming Sim, if you were going to own, you know, Farming Sim, you could do, like, logging and turn stuff into furniture or, you know, grain into flour or make bread at a bakery or, um, you know, beer, although that would probably make it a 18 plus game or whatever. Um, I would appreciate in games like Farming Sim where they're all, you know, about using heavy equipment and production chains and stuff that we could do even more. I mean, imagine having a farming sim game where, you know, the people who harvest all the grain and stuff get to bring it to a beer factory and then other players get to actually turn that into beer or something like that. It'd be a hard thing to balance, but... It'd be fun. Alright, that guy might come back, so I'm going to leave a thing of trash to throw at him. So if he comes back, I'll, I'll keep that as backup. Let's tidy up the place. Anchor shell on the opposite wall. Oh, another another shelf. Wow, I totally misread that. Thank you, chat. Oh, new phone. Who this? Good news. I found some subsidies for your factory. You will receive a transfer. With this amount, you should be able to destroy the separation of the factory and renovate the machine in the back of the factory. If you need more money, there are some investors interested. You can go to the computer to see about it and also see the conditions. Okay. All right, buy a new extension for your factory. This guy should... It's always these AI phone calls, too. Yeah, the factory looks great. Like the, I mean, you know, game looks good so far. Like I like, I like the design of the factory and how we can move around. I don't know. All these games are are fun to stream. Ooh, wait, they put. Wait a minute. Now hold on a second. I am no architect, and I haven't really worked on many construction sites. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that's probably. 
Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, um, let's keep cleaning up some trash here before we go on to the next step. Well, that's something there. Okay, a little more trash. All right, we'll keep two of those. Uh, is this a forklift? Oh, this is a forklift part. I'll need that for later. Oh, and that must be the propane tank we got then. Now let's just throw that on the ground. That'll be fine. Not dangerous or anything. Well, we're already level two on our reputation. I haven't even done anything. Just cleaned. We got basic structure. There's another forklift. Part right there. Cool. I guess we got to put that thing together. Okay, buy a new extension for the factory. That's our next main goal. piles we can clean and some we can't. Magic. Yeah, we're working our magic. Yeah, we're almost like level two and a half. Oh, I can't run around anymore. We need coffee. Alright, guys. Time to take a break. Where's the coffee machine? Oh, good. We're getting our coffee. John, thank you very much for the nine months. I like this. The idea that you have to drink coffee and then you get a pretty long sprint. It's like, you know, it depletes after time. It's kind of funny. So you got to take a break and actually go and have a coffee. A coffee. Oh, my God. This place is trash, too. This is like House Flipper. Okay, apparently I got a spoiler by just picking up some bottles and cans off the floor. Oh, look at all the member milestones coming in. Thank you, members, for sending those over. John, thank you very much for the nine months. Appreciate it, bro. M750 and Lady Golden Eve. Good to see you too. Welcome. Any idea what I'm going to be making yet? Well, I hope it's beer. Usually I make a mess, but it's the opposite right now. I have, I'm cleaning it up a little bit. But there's a good benefit for it. It raises our reputation, so... If I find a little bit extra trash or something, uh, maybe Reputation unlocks more recipes for different types of beer or uh, more money that we earn. A little tedious at the start, but uh, you, know, you only got to do it once. Okay, let's look around for more trash. Combustion. And that's probably going to be a goal later anyway, is to try to uh, collect all the forklift parts. Chad, is, is that you? Are you in there? 
Chat, come out. No need to hide in your blueberry bush emote. Come out, come on out, we're streaming. Yeah, we're cleaning up after an after party. Well, that's like some of the missions in uh, House Flipper 2 is like, oh yeah, I had this big party, come over and clean. And also, could you redo all my drywall in the living room? Thanks. It's like, okay, you went from like a quick little cleanup job to, yeah, I'm going to need to go ahead and rebuild the entirety of my house. Uh, my budget is $4. It's like, well, this phone call was $4, so you're going to need to do a little bit more than that. Money in this economy? That's so expensive. And honestly, I'm just enjoying the cleanup, to be fair. I can't believe I can't pick this up. It's like a... Oh, this must be something we can upgrade in the future. Something else we'll build there. It's like an invisible wall. Is this the same developer as Brew Pub Simulator? I don't think so, but that's another one that I mentioned earlier where you can own your own bar. And it felt like part... It was a little bit like part my summer car where you had to kind of brew beer in that same format but then yeah that, that was really cool i don't know i don't know what it is though these these games always feel like a c plus b minus but because of that they're really good it's like how tremors is like a b plus movie but kevin bacon in the movie itself is so good that it's actually like it's secretly an a tier you know what i mean like it all right let, let's be honest not star wars or indiana jones or anything like that but like, Tremors is a damn good movie, right? Like, are we all in agreement there? It's like, Die Hard and Tremors are two different movies. But, like, if it's like, Tonight on Fox, and all, <laughs> I was going to say an all-new episode of, but it's like, Tremors, followed by Die Hard. It's like, well, we're staying on Fox tonight. Like, that's how it used to be, like, back in the 90s and early 2000s. Like, if those two movies were back-to-back, -back, it's like, damn, it's going to be a good night. Tonight's going to be a good night. You know what I mean? So these these games like this and all the other ones that we played, including Arcade Paradise and Brew Pub Sim, always feel like a B, a B movie, and that's with the utmost respect. Because some of these people have limited budgets and are from countries that are developing games for the first time, like the Czech Republic or Slovakia. Poland's got a little bit more experience now, and obviously same with Sweden and quite a few other places. But kind of cool to see like Eastern Europe and India and other places kind of getting into the into making games for the first time and they make some wacky ones like there was one where we were in russia and we owned like a convenience store that's on a sidewalk i don't know it was like a vent like you were a street vendor but then you also had to like appease the russian mob and stuff and like try not to get shot by the russian mob somehow and you were selling like whatever that drink is that's literally made of like grain it's like a beer but like it's unfermented or so i don't know whatever if you know you know what i'm talking about but yeah that was a, that was a wild one i don't even remember the name of that one but all these like b games are just like the best all right buy a new extension for your factory do i buy that here individual society holding no. room tool desk forklift machinery room i don't think he means that Buy new extension. Wait, maybe I have to do it from the tool bench. Yeah, Trader Life Sim. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I could honestly play those games for a million years. Because, you know, you could look at My Summer Car or that one game called uh, Landlord Super and think, like, oh, this isn't going to be fun. And that next thing, people thought that about Farming Sim and ATS and Euro Truck and Flight Sim, and those are like, oh, my God, look at it. Who got all this mustard all over this damn desk? What the hell, man? Uh, store. Oh, I could buy another coffee machine for $800. That coffee machine was $800. Oh, decorative. Ooh. <laughs> Trash can, pallets. Okay. We put down a desk. Yeah, goat simulator. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I, I appreciate a game for what, what the developers may be trying to do. Sometimes they, oftentimes they fall short, but I understand it's not easy. And that's why we always have like early access and stuff. 
for the up and coming. And then that could lead to things like uh, Stardew Valley. Okay, I don't. I honestly don't know what to do. Buy an extension for the factory. Like, where do I? It keeps pointing over there. I can't go over there. That is the smallest little chair ever. Uh, what do I? What do? I, what am I buying here? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a machinery room. Extension one. It says factory extension one. Okay, that's what they want me to buy. Unlock a grain crusher. Uh, that was not there. There. Holy hell. That is a big ass piece of machinery. Accept a contract using the computer. What, is someone going to email me? De Dear Beer Factory, make beer. Okay, thanks. Here's the money. Like, what? That's not how that works. Um, beer distri distributor LLC. Refine 30 sacks of raw malt grain. Oh, also, another great game about making beer is one called um, Traveler's Rest, where you actually get to own your own, um, you know, your own tavern. You get to decorate it, put down all the tables, you get to brew the beer yourself, and you can do farming, and you get to own an inn, and you get to explore the world. And it's multiplayer. And the multiplayer is free, like, as in you can use Steam Remote Play where a friend can join you. So you can buy the game for, like, 15 bucks and then have a friend join you. So it's like you split the cost. Oh, great. Now we have to... Wait, what? wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I literally just bought this extension. And it's already trashed? I wanted... Ha I want half off the price then. What the hell? I got scammed. Like, this used to be blocked. Now it's even... Now it's even bigger. This is cool, though. All right, let's clean up our work area again. Yay. Maybe it was half off the price. This reminds me of that episode of The Simpsons when Bart buys a factory for like, I don't know, $2 or something. And him and Milhouse are in there goofing around. Is this the game you played with Alex a couple months ago? This one? No. Oh, you're thinking of that shop owner one. That was fun. Oh, suddenly I bought a pickup truck too? Who the hell owns that truck? Is this my truck? Do I have a truck now? They left their lights on, I think. Uh, okay. Looks like a 90s Dodge. This game is awfully quiet. Well, good. Because the factory is sleeping right now, but we're going to get it up to operational status. It has music, but I muted it, knowing that it probably is copyright. Probably. I can't even use this door here. Oh yeah, Out of Ore. Uh, that's a mining game I want to play too, yeah. Yeah, someone send me a DM on Out of Ore. Although, honestly, I'm kind of... Is that one multiplayer? Because I, I really... I'm still sad that Gold Rush from like, I don't know, five, six years ago never got multiplayer and people took a vote it's like do you guys want multiplayer or do you want the game on consoles and everyone was like we want consoles and i'm like no all right that's that's boring because gold rush is certainly a game like construction sim or farming sim where you want more friends to actually do the work with all right i think we're done cleaning are we ready to start this business oh looks like i can buy more extensions there Okay, order a pallet of raw malt. Make sure to order the amount you need to fulfill the contract. Well, they said 30, so okay. 30 raw malt. Hops and crushed malt. Uh, order. Cha-ching! 
Drive the pallet jack. Oh, right. Solve object locations and rotation. Oh, <laughs> I've become the pallet jack? Oh, dude, trucks actually pulled up. It's like gas station sim. It goes so fast, you can't steer. It's like you're running. It's like you're not supposed to run with these. Wait, do I, do I have to operate the elevator? What the hell is this? Peanuts with beer should try. Okay, I would do that. I'm gonna go on a beer tour, chat. Lock and unlock pallets on floor. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. I did it. Good old diesel engine, sister. Hell yeah. Yeah, this pallet jack runs on diesel. Bro, I should be able to just put, like... This, this, this thing, this, this mode shouldn't be like this. It's not driving an RC car. I should be able to grab this thing and, like, push it up here like, like a human, damn it. Not, like, maximum overdrive with a pallet jack. Jesus. What the fuck? What is happening? How am I even supposed to get in there? Bro, hey, I ordered this from you. You offloaded, dude. I pay. Hey. Wow, you're gonna get pulled the hell over, dude. You can't look at look at that tent. It's opaque. It's literally a chalkboard. and unlock pallet on forks. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh god. Okay. How the hell are you supposed to get that second pallet? Let's try this. Wait, you can wait. That's what this was for. I thought, okay. Oh boy. Well, it's safe to say he's not going to be leaving anytime soon.
I hope this pallet jack has diff lock. Oh my god. Dude's gonna run out of fuel idling here all day. I'll um chat check back check check back on the stream in like two minutes. I'll let I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay, go back now. Okay, uh, go down. What the fuck? Yeah. Is there a way to... damn lift. There we See what will happen. I can't even get off of here when it's set up right. Oh my god. There's like an invisible wall behind me. First try. Hi, see you in hell. <sighs> Driving it this way was a bad choice. It really needs to be like third person. Like as the person, not third pallet jack. Okay. Is this game a comedy? It is now. It was all good up until now. Now it's like, okay, what the hell? The Phantom Brewery, that's right. angle. Or not? Yep, not that angle. That's the forklift angle. Or not? Oh boy, it... I feel like this thing's gonna explode at any moment. Like, at any moment, 
all the bags are gonna f come flying off the pallet. What are we doing right now? Right, so I inherited this beer factory or something, cleaned it up, bought some more space, and installed this machine called a grain crusher. And now we've taken a contract from a company that's another beer company that wants us to, like, uh, crush some grain into malt and then send it back to them. So we're, like, doing a contract to make money before we got our own beer factory up and running. You know how these games are. You gotta do things very slow, step by step. Because that's fun. Oh, look at all the fun we're having. Look at this. This is so fun. Okay, power on the crusher. What do we got here? Inverse engine, speed, clear funnel. Power fill, dirtiness. Up. Hell? I was a dirty. I just bought the damn thing. What the hell? I, di I just bought this thing and haven't even used it, and it's filthy. May as well hit the clean button while we're here. Okay. That must have been dir a dirty funnel from the previous owner, I guess. Dude, I don't know why we have this. There's a blue door. Oh, it doesn't even lead outside. There's like a blue door to come through to this side of the factory, but we can't even take the door. Can I throw it through the window? You can't wait to see me unload a forklift? Oh, well, if the pallet jack is any indication of how much fun we're about to have. But look, chat, we got a good reputation, all right? We're already level, we're already level two rep. Okay, level three is on the way. Still just a smidge more reputation. Why is there more trash right there? Didn't I clean this trash up minutes ago? Does that, does Francis just walk around and just dump trash everywhere around the, the factory? I, cl I clean that trash up. You can throw the garage bags from the garage door in the container. You mean through here? Oh, you mean like I can throw it from the door? Yeah, I got, I got what you mean. We may as well start doing it this way. Since the game is making me clean up messes that I didn't even start. Actually, this would be a phenomenal multiplayer game. Get your friends to clean up the factory at the start, then ban them. After you're done. Alright, let's see if we can do a three-point shot from half the parking lot. Oh, that's way too much power. Oh my god! I got it. Wow. Wow. Gamer moment, everybody. Type I was here in the chat. This is probably going to be in a YouTube short, so type I was here. You guys got to go wild now in the comment section. Be like crying and shaking. All right, let's fire it up. In process. You could just say on, I guess. That, that word means. Wait, I'm putting the whole... Wait, this thing just gobbles up an entire bag? Refine the one malt bag. Wait, I better read the instructions before we do any of this. Grain crusher. Uh, the grain crusher is the first machine you own. It's of a great importance in the brewing process. Can crush any type of grain. In this case, in our field, it is malt and hops. To begin, you'll need to turn it on. Taking the time to clean it is important. Otherwise, the machine will go into safety mode. You'll hear a loud beep. Well, thank God we cleaned the machine then. Uh, when the container is filled with one bag, use the lever to activate the crushing process and wait for the bags to come out. Expert tip, don't hesitate to put an empty pallet in front of your the one of the output. Oh, I need another pallet then? There you'll find three commands. Inverse engine allows you to inverse the direction of the conveyor. Speed increases the speed. Clear funnel. Damn. 
Allows you to unlock, oh, unblock the grain bags inside and push them out. Oh, okay, so the thing can process full bags. Now, to crush the bags of grain, simply place them on the conveyor. It'll automatically bring the bags into the container. Remember to organize the line of bags in the conveyor so they do not block each other inside. So I should buy a pallet first? Okay, there's no off. There's no off switch. I need a coffee. So I can actually sprint. And to deal with this emotion that I'm feeling right now. I don't know if this is rage or embarrassment. Somewhere in between. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. We'll maybe put these on here. Oh my god. Um, that's fine. Okay. All right, I guess here we go. Okay, now before we go any further, I got to check something. All right, go to the store page. I knew it. Damn playway game, I knew it. Polish. All right, this is the Polish. It's a Polish game about the Polish beer making pro process. Gotta remember not not to hit that button. There we Can I process like all the bags at a time? No, this is the Polish process, chat. This is how it works. When the Poles make beer, you know, every once in a while a bag of malt will just hover above the thing and I mean you should I feel like there's an old joke in here somewhere, but like you guys ever see a Polish guy offload a pallet <laughs> off the back of a truck? I mean I'm Polish too, so that's what you saw. You saw a Polish guy play a Polish game, offload a Polish truck of Polish grain, and load it into a Polish grain processor. I mean... Magic flying malt. I mean, this is kind of fun to load stuff onto the conveyor belt, but what the hell else am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna, you know, I... I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to do it wrong, because that'll be funny. I'm going to keep throwing these bags on here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are 30 kilos each. Okay. 
Oh, the hell. Wait, what? Oh, oh no, they're falling off the conveyor. I'm gonna get fired by myself. Why does it keep spitting out 24 kilograms of raw? We put 30, oh wait, that says polished. Wait, that's what I want. Crushed. The same, where the hell did that come from? That's good. I wish the bags were a different color. Oh. Well, we can only process one bag per day. We're on French rules. Alright, ready? Okay, cool. Alright, eight hour break. Son of a bitch, Francis. I'll kill you. I've changed my mind about you now. You want to do an Elden Ring boss battle? Have you seen this crushing machine? You better run. Ah, uh, yeah, you can use your little Metal Gear Solid 3, the end smoke bomb all you want. Pound Town. Hey, I got it. I'm leaving. Damn right. Now I'm mad. Like, how do you know how many bags to load? Like, you read the instructions. <laughs> it doesn't say anything. It's, it's on the slowest settings possible. Clear funnel. Oh no. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This seems to be the only bag that processed properly. Oh, look at all these pillows. Come on down to my pillow store, chat. Look. Okay, we got one of them. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to load one at a time. sure that's clear oh I see
I see. <laughs> Good. Okay, so we had a way. Uh oh, what was that? Fill. Okay. I'm learning. <laughs> Got it. I'm the master. Is there a Panda Express in my area? There's always bears around. Panda is no exception. Hopefully we can hire employees to hold the handle in the future. Hi, Bob. Yeah, welcome to our beer company. Would you be able to hold down this handle for eight hours a day? grains of raw grain makes 24. Why does this thing sound like a tank? It doesn't matter how you drive this thing, it's just bad. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here. Stay there. At this point, I kind of just want to fall into the machine. Okay. Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. We now have to buy the forklift. Oh. If the pallet jack was like that. Oh. Can I get in the truck and leave? Maybe we should just go home and like become a YouTuber or something. No. No, I'm not going to stoop that low. I'm going to make this beer, damn it. 
Okay. The forklift, better than the pallet jack. We'll see. We'll see about that. For $500? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, boy. And we still have to put it together, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> Build your own forklift, $500. Imagine that. Hi, welcome to the Ford dealership. Yes, I'd like your finest Ford, please. Oh, that will be $38,000. Parts will be delivered at random. Bye, thank you for shopping. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, get ready to make clips for tan. Get your clip fingers ready. That would certainly uh, help out a lot. Oh, do I really do I really want to get on this thing after after the pallet jack? I don't know. Maybe it's it's just going to be easier to carry one bag at a time from the truck. Oh god. There's no sound at all. Oh, there we go. Okay, the horn button doesn't work. That's great. The beeping is my heart monitor at the hospital after I finish playing this game. Oh my god, the forklift is actually not that bad. Look at that leg! Oh, we can do it first person. Sweet. You know, my first gaming job I ever had, chat, was uh, racing forklifts in Shemu. <laughs> yep, I, I worked in 80s Japan down at the docks loading stuff via the, uh, the forklifts in that game. So I know my way around a forked lift. Where the hell are you going? I still have another pat. Oh my god, the front end of the car is way down. Where are you going? I have another pallet to sell. Oh who, who, who the hell was that? That was Alex. That was totally an Alex thing to do. And who the hell makes deliveries from a factory with a Chevy S10? Like, what the hell?
Well, here's the fun part. Where the hell did the rest of those bags go? Yeah, we stream daily, yep. And I can't even turn the machine off. I gotta buy like four more bags. Well, whatever. We're a beer factory. It's not like we're not gonna use them. Yeah, this feels like a new reality show. Deadliest Catch. Ice Road Truckers. And now... Flabbergasted YouTubers. I'm just going to buy another whole pallet. Screw it. I can't buy more? I can only buy like, oh, whatever, I'll buy 20. Screw it. Guess I was broke. Uh, well, here comes the big moment of truth. So, you're supposed to use the forklift in this game, and if you run out of gas and you're broke, then the punishment is you have to use the pallet. <laughs> oh no, here it comes again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you can teleport through the wall. Oh, exploit discovered. What the hell, there's boxes there again. Who the hell keeps leaving their crap next to the dumpster? Ooh. Oh, I got underglow for the forklift? And now I'm out of coffee, so now I gotta walk like a loser. I'm going forward. I don't know why the beep. This is the everything's okay alarm. It will sound letting you know that everything is okay. God help us all. Who the hell is that? Did I clone myself? Hey, me, get off the damn... 
get off the damn forklift myself. Oh, sorry, dude. Thank you. What the fuck? Okay. I'm just going to start with three bags. Where'd the other pallet go? Oh my god. I'm going to have to buy another pallet to be able to sell it. Unless... Wait a minute. I'm going to test out a theory. A game theory. We're going to wait until that light turns green. I've got an idea, chat. We'll let a few more bags go in there. I got an idea. I need to make one more. Now, can you load them one by one? Oh my god. I think the truck is only going to acknowledge them when they're loaded onto a pallet. Dear god, no. How much is a pallet? Damn. Okay. All right, now we're level three. We have a re oh, a triple repu reputation. That's what we got. I need a coffee. Oh my god. Okay. How much is pallet rental? Five dollars. Yeah, to hell with it. Okay. Maybe we need at least two bags. All right, let's see. Standing by. Okay, is it ready? Nope. There we go. Okay.
Great. Okay. Great. You can just pick the pallet up. You could have just picked the pallet up. Oh my god. Not you. Okay. The bomb been planted? Bomb planted. I think someone someone planted C4 charges in the factory. I hope that was me so we can collect on the insurance. My insurance does cover military-grade explosives. Yay, we did it. Our first contract, and probably last. Now what? I gotta go back to the computer and... Uh, contract. Validate. Oh my god, we made $800. It was worth it. And I've earned 40 reputation points. Alright, cool. Next contract in 30 seconds. Now what? Find a bottle of gas. Oh good, we're gonna burn the factory down. Hell yeah. That, see, I'm glad that we were all on the same page. Yeah, we're just going to burn it all down and uh, collect on the insurance money. I think that's a better idea. We'll just go trade NFTs. Buy a, a slot for pallets. You need to equip your toolbox and then open the build menu. Oh, I can put it wherever I want. Well, I think I'll put it over over here. I think all that rage, <laughs> it all came out at once. Okay, my bad. All right, we're, we're good. Uh, I hope to God there was an autosave. Yeah, whenever that happens, all you gotta do is spam the words REFRESH in all caps. And, uh... Yeah, the factory exploded. It, oh, it's nighttime now? Oh, there's a day-night cycle? I want a daytime all the time. Contract 
Wait, I'm done. Oh my god. Gotta load those four bags again. Dear god. Wait, wait, wait. Are these the good ones? Okay. This part's easy. We're good. I wonder if the uh, fuse box exploded. Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> Did the power go out? Or did we just not pay our power bill because we're broke? I would imagine it costing a little bit more than $36. Okay, that part's good. All right, let me go turn on the power. It literally blew a fuse. Oh my god. Alright, let's go load this thing. Wait, how do I open the door? Now get out of here. Okay, good. Go on, get. Get out of here. Yeah, now we can pay the power bill, chat. Congratulations, we did it, yeah. Okay, now wait a minute. I don't have my hot bar at the bottom. Where are my tools? Okay. Oh, I see. Actually, reminds me of a game called Good Company, where you can build like a factory with friends. It's like a top-down management game. All right, switch to management mode to toggle. Oh, connect a workstation slot. Orange anchor with the newly. Okay. Oh, we're gonna hire employees. Oh, oh, we can actually program employees and stuff. Okay. It's 
kind of cool. We can give them tasks and actually set it up that way. Very nice. What's up, Maze Gaming World? Hello. Welcome. So... Okay. Well, do I re do I really want to link this to anything? I feel like that link to there and that link to there is fine, and then just load it on the truck. What would I put here? Machinery slot, empty slot, connected slot, not edible slot. Connected valid link, not edited link, damaged or invalid employee link. Can I link these two? I can't can't edit that one or that one. Okay. Well, okay, okay. Whatever. It's the employee's uh, problem now. Alright, we're going to hire some employees. Oh, boy. Derek Johnson, passionate about beer. Interact with the employee. Hey, don't expect any sort of pay. Don't expect any sort of raise. We will do pizza parties to make it seem like we care. Uh, but this will try to keep you complicit and not ask for a raise or your worth as a employee of the organization. You're here just to... Uh, ensure the profits of the corporation and if they go down you'll be the first to be cut thanks oh my god let's go there's actually some stuff we can do here this is interesting work follow step aside wait here wait at office assign workstation upgrade Oh, they have experience levels, too. I thought he was experience level one, not zero. Level up your employee. You can uh, you can wait him to gather. What? Experience? By himself, or you can buy him a, a course. Okay. Assign your employee on the input of the grain crusher. Oh, I gotta like tell him. Whoa, whoa, that's a oh, that's got to be an HR violation right there. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I thought this was a beer factory, not downtown. Uh, can you work over on this thing? This thing's boring. Uh, finish the construction and unlock the brewery in the underground. Underground? We're making an underground brewery? What the hell you mean? Wait. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh, yeast storage, conveyors, brewing tanks, coffee. Oh, yeah, the coffee machine. That's wildly overpriced. That, that yeah, there's got to be something illegal about what we just did. Yeah, there's there's probably a Breaking Bad lab under the brewery. Yeah. Okay, so is is it this? Brewery and underground. Well, I don't have enough money, I. Suppose. Okay, we're going to have to take another contract then. 
Refined 21 sacks of raw malt grain. Oh, my God. We're going to have to do it again, me and Derek, together as a team. Uh, this is going to suck. Oh, we can custom. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, we can paint it. Oh, we got to go for safety yellow. <gasps> Bro. No way. And we got that neon underglow now. Oh my god. Fast and the forkliftiest. Um... Wow. No spoilers. <laughs> no matter what we do, it's already scuffed. Got like a huge scrape down the side of it. Who, who was driving this forklift last? Certainly wasn't me. I'm the boss. I don't do any work. Okay, so if we're going to do this job, we got to process more grain. Well, I dumped a bunch of bags on the floor, so let's get to work, Derek. All right, let me know when it's done. Okay, thanks. I'm going to have to buy at least another pallet. Uh, okay. Look, pallets are like talk, okay? They're both, they're both cheap. So let's buy... Four of them. Don't tell me a little truck's going to pull up and I'm going to have to use the forklift to get... Oh, my God. No. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Hey, I'm right here, a-hole. And why do you have boxes on my pallets? I didn't need... the forklift. It's not how that... It's not... It's almost as if somebody's watching the stream and just being like, watch this, dude. I'm going to get him. When he orders the forklifts, I'm going to put them in a shoe box. But then when he opens the shoe box, see, look at this, dude. He's, he's going to come out with the forklift thinking that he's going to use the forklift to move around the pallets. The, the exact same thing the forklift was designed to move Dude, he doesn't need. Oh, but then he does. So 
someone needs to put big big pallet out of business. They've been they've been cornering the market. And I don't I don't even like the name. Like pal. Like there's there's no friendship here. Hate the enemy. Hate hatelets. No no pal, no bud, no friend. This is the house of pain. We're not, we're not making beer or memories or friends. Norm's not going to come out. This is my house, the house of pain. All right, what do I what do I do? I guess I got to turn it on and then he'll do the thing. All right, employee, make profits. Does he just run the damn machine? All right, here's the moment of truth. Please just let the grain come out automatically onto the other pallet, please. Please just let it come out of the machine and load onto the pallet. Oh God, are there bags just sitting on the floor? He won't, he doesn't work there? What are you even doing? Oh, he won't, he's supposed to be loading if there was a pallet there, that's what he should be doing. Unless I have to, like, program the job for him. Don't care. I'll do it myself. Screw it. How many bags is this? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Sixteen. All right, let's head back to the old thing, the old computer. Okay, here we go. Big moment. I think we can only fit 24 on a pallet. Yep. Because at 25, it switches to two. I need a freaking coffee.
that's true. It comes with a free pallet and delivery. Oh god, the forklift's in the way. Looks like you need help, pal. I got my pallets. Oh, damn it, he got away. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, now it doesn't come with the little uh, elevator anymore. Why? This is how they make Polish beer. Like a glove. Get out of the way, dude. Uh, oh, take me with you. Oh, look, we're driving the truck now. He'll figure it out. Employee, initiate labor. Okay, how many more did I need? What, four? Oh, wait, we need 21. So we have what? Tw uh, 12. 18. No, 16. Okay, we're good. We're good. How the hell are they falling out the conveyor? I guess the machine's full, but you'd think he would know that. But no. Ah. <sighs> He has to gain a level before he's experienced enough to pull a le oh god, a lever. I thought you were leaving, dude. What are you doing here? Alright, apparently this truck doesn't exist.
The handbrake's like a parking brake. And this thing moves at the speed of smell. You would never need... You'll never need a parking brake with this thing. Take two contracts now. Okay, can we do the brewery finally? One thousand one hundred. I need a hundred dollars. I need a hundo. I'll order another pallet of 24, oh wait, yeah, 24. have planted the bomb. We're not even brewing beer yet, but we're close. We're close. I can, I can taste it. Tastes like chicken. What is this? Okay, let's see if this fixes that. It did? Okay, cool. He's late by one minute. Zero pay. Oh, now they bring the truck with the damn ramp again.
All right, we're getting better with the forklift. So we need 22, so that's uh, 2, 4, 3, 6, uh, 9, 12, 13, 13, uh-oh, I have to turn this on, oh, we do, that's raw malt, what the hell? Uh, if we made 800 from a normal contract, imagine how much we'll make from selling beer. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we're just doing normal contracts, so. Okay. So what are we at? Like 17, 2, 4, 6, 8. No. Are these twos or threes? These are twos. Oh. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 13, lucky number. No, damn it. Six. Oh, it stacks to four. All right. Okay, I think I think that's I think we're good. What the hell just happened? Did one just fall off? Oh, it's more of the raw malt. Chill, bro. Don't put them all in at once. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, it's crushed malt. Bro, oh, there's stuff all over. Okay, if I put it on the pallet, he's going to process it, and I don't want that. You need to relax, sir. I can save this. We're fine. Okay, hold on. All right, so now we should be able to open the brewery. Now we can brew some beer, brother. Hell yeah. Sixteen sacks of raw malt grain.
There it is. Oh, damn. For $1,100, we were able to build a bunker. Like we're Gus Fring. Buy and place a brew tank. We're probably going to need the uh, toolbox for that. Let's save. Yep. Alright, how do we get downstairs? Oh. Oh, that's where that door went. Um. Oh my god. This is a gargantuan area. This is huge. This this, this is like parking garage here. Oh, is this room for like a little office? Oh, how nice. This is like the room from Batman where the uh, tumbler is stored. Alright, let's do in some brewing. And of course we can't build it because we need another $500. Oh my god, okay. Alright, whatever. I, I like how there's the main objectives and then in order to earn that money we have to like do stuff. Whatever it takes. At this point, I'd rather rob than do honest work, to be fair. Okay. Let's get ready for fun. Is everyone ready for fun? Mandatory fun. Okay. Yeah, uh, man, uh, so much, so much room for activities. I know. In the beer bunker. In the brew bunker. Wages owed fifteen dollars. What the hell? You gotta pay these people? You should pay me to work for free. We'll call it an internship. We're fine, 18 and 16. Okay. Well, we basically gotta do both of those before we can... I, I'm just gonna keep grinding out on the whole... Refining stuff, because, like, we're... Every step, we just need more money, and the only way we can do it now is with the raw. But then eventually we'll, uh... Yeah, bomb diffused. Eventually, I guess we'll get more. Okay. So, we have enough to buy at least 24, 24 bags. Bomb is diffused. There we go. Getting better, damn it. Getting better. Now, the goal is to do this before we have to pay Derek twice. Or whatever his name was. Deb? Steve? 
I think we just started experimenting with giving people numbers. No names. Picard did it. Number one. Oh, wait. I do need a pallet. Derek Johnson, delivering beer and justice. <laughs> Tonight on UPN 9. Oh, we have a bunch of bags there, too. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Let's begin. <laughs> Employee, initiate labor. Start with the top one, 18. They can count three, four, five. Oh, the conveyor. Okay. The conveyor is automatic. I thought I had control over that. Yeah, I don't know how the worker levels up. I assume by. Well, doing their job, and then you have to hit a button, or you can send them to a class or something. Two, four, six, eight, eleven. 10, 11, 12. That's going to be one too many. Double check. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. And what is this? Eric, what the hell? I'm really upset about the forklift not having... Okay. Oh, there's loans in the game? Wait, really? That's probably going to give me more trouble. So we need uh, 16. I, don't, mm, I think I'm going to have to buy more uh, stuff. Okay, I didn't even touch anything, and that just came out. Context and phrasing. Context and phrasing.
I'm gonna just process some and then I'll, I'll do the count later. Blue. I'll let her rip and dip for a while so we can get burned through some of that grain. Okay, what do we, uh, God, this all better be crushed. Okay, two, four, six, eight, and 12, okay. So I need two more. Standing by for the fill. Okay. That's all we got. All right, we need a coffee. Uh. There we go. We did it. Okay. Down to the bunker. Down to the brew bunk. Oh my god, this game was storage too? Oh, and then there's a way to drive the forklift down here. Oh no. There's another door? Oh yeah, this building. The one with the hanging lights. I can't believe with like $1,100 we were able to make like a stadium sized parking lot. Like this is quite a large space. Alright, let's do some brewing. Wait, we can add on to this? We can add like a stairwell? The hell? Wait a minute. Oh, that's cool as hell. 
There's a piping system that goes through the room. And the game automatically made a pipe leading to the tank. Oh, that's kind of cool. So wherever you put it, there's going to be like a actual piping system. That's cool. That's, that's clever. All right, create a recipe on the uh, computer. I'm going to make something called um, beer. Brewery, water manager, infra... Oh, wow. Okay, so we got to worry about water management. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Tanks, logos, and... Re oh, we can make a logo. How do you do this? Uh, let's make a red label. Oh, nice, nice. Um, hmm. <gasps> Ooh, okay, now this is kind of cool. Chat, we need beer names. Or, well... I don't know if we can put text on it. Oh, and you can also make a PNG. Um, could they have different shapes here, like a dog or like a flower? Give me that. Hmm. Import you. Oh, yeah. I could import my logo into the game. That's true. I could do that. It's got some special rules, though. I'd have to do some stuff to set it up. Wait, layer two. Aha. Uh -huh. How do I color it, though? Select shape, but then how do I... Oh, there, there's color. Okay. <laughs> it's like a pie. We might be onto something here. Okay, we're going to call this beer the Four Corners. Because I have to go to f the four corners of the earth to find a decent damn pallet jack in this game. Okay. Uh, create a new recipe, they said. Malt, hop, yeast... Allspice or Ansense. Wait. I think I'll make the shape blue. How the hell? What? 
Oh, there we go. Whatever. It's fine. I don't care. All right. Don't care about that. I wish I could just name them. I'm just going with their default. What the hell? Yeah, just do that one. Okay. Uh, order water on the computer. It's a good thing you have... It's a good thing to have more than you need. What do you mean order water? The plumbing? Hello? Order water. Hello, water company? I would like a water, please. Oh, on the way. Order water on the computer. How the hell do I order water? Industrial yeast. <laughs> oh, there it is. Water. Bro, water. What? Did they not have plumbing in Poland? They said to order water, it's good to have more than what you need. How do I know what I need? Water stored 100. Okay. We have 1,000. Okay, it says to order more than what we need. So let's order... Well, I, I guess 1,000. Okay. Don't tell me I got to wait for the water company to show up. You know, industrial water adds flavor. That's where the, the nutrients and the essence comes from. Oh, what is this? Oh my god, there's a coffee machine down here. Uh, go to the water tank and open the valve. Is that upstairs? Oh, I can hear a truck here. All right, hold on. Oh, wait, is this, is it this thing? <laughs> Marked as explosive? Can't be that. Don't tell me I'm going to, like, pull a hose all the way around the corner for this thing. Do I have to connect the... Do I have to connect a hose to the truck? Go to the water tank and open the valve. That's a giant water tower. Hmm. Maybe he wants to drive through?
Maybe he drives through there, but I don't think he can actually drive through there. The doors are all open. Maybe he wants to drive around. Let, let's close and open them. Okay, I can't. the hell? I feel like the truck should pull up next to here. Um, let's save and then reload. Let's try that. I feel like he should drive through the factory and come back over to the to the pump area. Interesting. I don't want to order water again. We might get charged for it. Uh-oh. Oh, there he is. Hello. I thought that's where he was supposed to go. He must back in or something. Alright. Oh, there we go. Hey, I'm here, damn it. Quiet down. Order a pallet of hops. You can order more if you need it. Okay. Well, a pallet is what, 24? Okay, we're doing it. Okay, so 24 maybe. Oh, that's way more expensive. Um, hmm. Hmm. By half. a little money. Eh, worst case scenario, I'll just do, uh, you know, more um, more fun stuff. Order a pallet of yeast. Oh, boy. We don't even have enough for more than two. Okay. 
You're having turkey breast for dinner tonight? Hell yeah, bro. With a side of beer? Oh, I think that truck has these done too. Cool. Yo, King Arthur, thank you very much, dude, for the six months. Can I confirm or deny there is a dev for the game in the chat? I have no idea. Is there? a long drive. I guess I should bring it down there. Oh boy. Pro move. I'll just put it here for now. Yeah, that was the hops. They want me to store yeast on the shelf. Downstairs. We'll get it. Downstairs, brother. Back to the lab. The hand truck will make it easier. Likely story. He's going to laugh at me. Wait, it says to take a... Wait, hold on. Yo, Papa Furby. Thank you very much, dude, for the uh, Raptor Plus membership. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Take a cardboard and store it. Okay, I see. Go to your computer and launch your first brew. This computer? No. 
I'm gonna go back upstairs. Oh man, all this back and forth. There it is. The bunker. Okay, let's launch our first brew. Like, just make maximum quantity two fifty. Okay. Tank being filled with water. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Waiting for resources. Crushed malt. Oh, my God. So we have to deliver 50 bags of crushed malt to that thing. Oh, my God. And in order to get 50 bags of crushed malt... Wait, I'm going to have to take some contracts, but we don't have, like, enough money to buy more raw malt to then make money from contracts, question mark? Also, there needs to be a way to get all these trash bags out of here in one run. Like, it'd be nice to build, uh, to buy, like, a box that the pallet jack can, well, maybe I can, wait, can I put them on a pallet? Oh... That'd be nice to take all the trash, put it on a pallet, and then pa bring the pallet jack out of there. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got loans. That's right. Yo, Papa Furby, thanks for the five bucks, dude. Just wanted to say love the channel. Uh, you might look into... Uh, what? Bars for Crusher and the rating for Brewer. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Can be done with the tools and... And for free. Okay, I got you. Upgrades. I got you. I see. Right, let's do some contracts. Raw malt, 27, 22. Like, whatever. We, we're going to need all the money so we can buy more hops, more malt, and more water, and more everything. We'll do one more round of that. All right, now what about loans? Individual, society, or holding? 7% interest, absolute scam. Wow, look at this one. One of these loans is 25%. That's a scam. Thousand bucks. Benefit shared ten percent. Wait a minute. What the hell does that mean? Wait, they take ten percent of the company's profits, or what the hell does that mean? Oh, that must be what it is. All right, so we would get seven thousand five hundred. They'll take seventeen percent on top of that, and then. Every time you sell something, they take 10% off the top. I think that's what that means. Hmm. Oh, we'll do that one. Whatever. Now we can buy crushed malt, but I'm just going to do it. We, we got an employee. Let's put him to work. Let's buy... Forty-eight. Yep. 
got this big old crusher machine, we may as well take use of it. Back down into the lab. Go upstairs. All right, to the truck. Oh, boy. Yes, yeah, so we can pay the employee via the PC, that's right. That's right. Okay. Let's go get another pallet. All right, despite the jankiness with the forklift and the pallet jack, I think now we're going to get into the fun stuff of actually taking these products like hops and whatever else. And actually doing some brewing. Doing some brewing. I'm a business owner. Okay. So now, bruh, 
You do that. And I'll look into paying you. Maybe, perhaps. We will pay once every two weeks. Minus the $7,000 probationary fee. Okay. Who the hell are you? Health and safety? Get the hell out of here. I got a gun. Who the hell is this? We're trying to make a profit. If you're going to be here with your regulations and all that, that's not going to be profitable. Oh, someone's taking out the trash. Oh, my God. Dude. Hey, bring her with. That guy's actually taking out the trash. This is great. Make her into beer. Don't pay the employees. Go to Arby's instead. Thanks, Tim, for the five. Arby's. They have meats. Sanitary report. What? There was still a blue tree found it? What the hell does that mean? Pack of garbages. Garbage, garbage. What the hell are these words? Mock balls? Ma'am, you know... Ma'am, when you were here doing your inspection, didn't you see the man literally taking out the trash? I'm going to have to counter sue. I'm opening a countersuit against the uh, city and the federal government. Negligence, incompetence, waste of taxpayers' fees. And my fee is going to be steep. It's $26 billion. All right, cool. We're billionaires now, Jack. Come on. We're going to Arby's. This lady rolls up and like, oh, yeah, oh, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, what do you mean, no, yeah, no, yeah. You got a guy taking out the trash, ma'am. And the same will happen when you leave. Get out of here. Ridiculous. Okay, so we got one full pallet. We'll put this one towards the 20, 27. I can't believe you actually get inspected by the health, health and safety. another three onto a pallet. What if I could do it this way? Can I just put the pallet on the forklift? Alright, I guess. What do we need? 24... 7...
Oh, that's a contract finished. Cool. Oh, we get a reputation for doing that too, so that's cool. They are taking a bit of our profits, but at least we won't have to continuously grind all the time. Okay, next one's 22. Crushed. Our crash. Yeah, I'm not even sure how many days we're in because I had to like restart and stuff. So I haven't. I don't know. I don't know if this is the type of game where you have to end the day. After every, almost pretty much every single game I've played lately is like a, a game with like a day-night cycle. So it's nice to play one where it's like it, it's just unlimited time. trash man go he like kind of stopped doing his thing I liked him taking out the trash this bag too. Looks like we get free propane for a while. If there's trash, that guy will get it. He's good. He's the trash man. Okay, so now we're at the start of brewing. So our main objective is to fill the tank with crushed malt. We'll need to open the door at, at the top of the tank. So we'll have to also build stairs. So let's do this. Let's... Um Let's order another 48. So we can complete a contract and we'll make our own crushed malt. It'll be good for marketing. We don't want to actually put in the work, but we'll just say by hand, in house, by hand, because we care. But what we really care about is the money. Okay. Oh, I got to go get the toolbox again.
Okay, so we'll get that so we can do the second contract and we'll start on our main thing. That guy's just standing around, that's fine. We can probably get him to work on the brewery thing once we set it up. Once we set up this tank, he can start working. Uh, fill the tank with crushed malt. You'll need to open the t uh, door at the top of the tank. Okay, cool. Then we have yeast and stuff, too. So I can't exit construction mode. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got to go upstairs and crush some more malt. I guess ideally, when business is booming, we'll have all these shelves stocked full of yeast and crushed malt and hops. Although I hope we can get different varieties of stuff. One thing that we learned from Brew Pub, kind of, well, it's kind of more mass mass production, so it's going to be the you know more cheaper ingredients done on a large scale. As we're brew pub sim, everything's made. Here we make things by hand. First, we'll probably have to go low-level quantity and then start step our way up to medium-level quantity. The quality included. Oop. Oh, boy. Okay. That was interesting. When you put in bottles or cans? Um, canning is coming later, but bottles are part of the game now, I think. It was on their roadmap, but bottles are first. Nice if we could have a damn loading dock. Alright, good, good, good. Oh, and it's starting to spill off already. God damn, okay. I'll just let it go for a while. Because uh, we only need 22. Talent can hold 24. I'll rip two off the top and then we'll just take the rest downstairs. For our own purposes. Can I get the other worker to help with crushing? Yeah. But after we make all this grain, we'll probably have them do trash again for a little bit.
it's full. Okay, so that means this is for me. Here. Okay, so this is all for our own production now. Good, good. I've got to keep it producing, otherwise it's going to overflow. Saved us a bunch of money by processing our own. Alright, so this one's ready to ship for a contract, and then everything else will be for us downstairs. Yeah, we send it across the map. What the hell? On there, too. No, it's still overflowing, man. more pallets. Damn, if only I could have the workers drive the forklift, that'd be a little easier. F-22. No, an extra one went on there. Here, let, let's do this. Let's use this to move this away. Pull two off there. Okay, I think we're in better shape now. That guy will pick that up. This is awesome. All done. Make some more. We're like a squirrel. We're getting all this stuff stored up for the winter that the winter is like hopefully a long amount of time that we can do brewing. Up drops. Okay. Any more? Sure is.
Okay, so pallet one, pallet two, and then the customer pallet. I need a raise. Forklift's always up to something, yeah. What the hell? Didn't I install stairs? Did someone steal my stairs? Very funny chat. Bring up crushed malt. How much? Let's fill the tank. Okay. We'll start with four. I like how we're also just throwing the whole bag in. Like the bag. I can't even read what the hell that needs. What the f Let's say 50 bags. Oh, f well, hell, we don't even forget this. I, I haven't even made 48. I need 50 bags of malt. That was like, what, five? And then there's like another whatever on the pallet. And upstairs. We, At best, we have like, what, 30? All right, we're going upstairs. Yeah, next time what I could do is just pull the forklift lift up next to the thing and then just raise the pallet up and pull it off there. But we're going to have to do that three times. Or I could just bring two up there. Because we can make 48, and then I can just... Well, I'm still going to have to bring another pallet down, but my God. That means we got to order more uh, either crushed. I think we'll order just our own, pre our own crushed now. It's going to be more expensive, but my God. At this point, we're saving time. The truck will arrive soon. Once we make the order. Okay, um...
So I'll put the extra pallets here. Okay, let's go turn in that contract and get some money. And then we'll order a... Oh, I guess we tell this guy to do something. What can we have him do? Follow, step aside, wait here, wait at office. Yeah, we'll just have him hang around until I find something else to do. Okay, so it was contract. Getting the rep is nice too. We might be able to charge a higher price for our beer with a higher reputation just by taking out trash and stuff. Okay. Um, and then we gotta make a big O order of crushed malt. I think we should order 20, uh, 48 at a time. Almost a thousand bucks for that. Wow. We'll bring all that stuff downstairs, including this pallet, too. And any extra we could just give to a client. Whatever. Whatever. What a game. We're gonna have to save all those clips, chat. There's gonna be some there's gonna be some damn sure YouTube shorts out of this one. For sure. Alright, what do you guys think? Should we play this again? I'm actually kinda curious to see what the hell else is in store for us. I could imagine what the beer brewing is like. We'll brew the beer, it'll probably be turned into kegs. It'll pop out next to the thing, and then we can bring it up to the uh, pickup truck to export. But I feel like I wanna see what else happens when we scale up. Like Obviously, we can't ship things out in a Chevy S10 continuously. Like, where's a box truck? Hopefully, we can upgrade to that one. I certainly want to keep on going for sure. But uh, that is going to be it for now until our stream of uh, more than likely Park Attack coming up next. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing, hitting that like button, and uh, thanks for following. Exclamation point Twitch, by the way. If you're watching on YouTube right now, we do have a Twitch channel, exclamation point Twitch. Click the link that pops up there if you have a Twitch Prime sub. You can certainly spend it over there on Twitch and uh, take advantage of uh, some more emotes and stuff that we'll be putting over there. And uh, it supports the channel, too, and no additional cost to you. And don't let Jeff keep your money. You can uh, spend that there and help to support my beer factory. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Thank you very much for uh, leaving a like and hanging out. And uh, I, think, I think we'll have to come on back to this one ASAP. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all in a bit for the next Big O stream. If you're interested in factories, by the way, uh, there is a Tank Factory game that just went live earlier on the YouTube channel, too. So check that out called uh, Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks. It's a long name, but yeah, kind of cool. If you like uh, Hearts of Iron 4 and designing all the tanks and stuff in that game, you're probably going to like this one. So, All right, I'll see you all in a bit for the next Big O stream. Thank you very much for watching all my shenanigans today. Oh, that was a, That was a crazy one.